Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at cutting some uh, magnetic material on the laser. So, just wondered if that's even possible. So, I'm going to give it a shot. So, I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby, several sheets. Uh, it was about three bucks for the three sheets. And what I'm doing is I want to make a backing for this LED that's magnetic because one of the things I want to do is make uh, so I can add uh, in here in here or on the uh, Da Vinci or wherever uh, a magnetic stick-on light so I got these uh, I've showed these before I've got these 12 volt um, LED panels which are pretty interesting and I've added uh, one to the Wanhao on the back uh, for lighting so anyways we're gonna go ahead and do this the other thing I'm gonna try is I've also got my infrared uh, camera set up. I've got some interesting infrared kit and I've got it set up to also record this since this is an infrared laser so we'll see how that comes out. Don't know if it'll work or not. However, we're going to go ahead and try cutting this this um, piece and we'll see what happens. So, uh, let's go. So after four passes, there's a lot of residue on here. It came pretty close to cutting all the way through. Um, so I'm going to experiment a little bit more with this and see how it comes. It's um, probably after four passes, it's, it's pretty much through, but it hasn't cut the, uh, the outer side. So I'm going to try this um, once again and see what happens. Okay, so um, didn't quite cut all the way through. For some reason, it kept also stepping. So it uh, actually pretty close. I can probably clean this up with a um, uh, with an exacto knife or something. So let me peel back the. Um, so it sort of did, it's uh, fairly close. Let me uh, just kind of cut the peeling back with an X-Acto knife. Okay, so we're back. So I wanted to show this, so I cut out another larger piece. You probably saw as I went through some of the time lapses and that. So I got it stuck on so you can kind of see how that works over there, it just sticks on. Um, actually, let's move over there so you can see it. So see this just sticks on and so, so, so the magnetic adhesion property still stayed even though it was cut with the laser. It's not overly um, sticky magnetic stuff. However, one of the things I want to show is it did cut through to the, the this adhesive plastic, but it did not cut the adhesive plastic. So, um, so this is this is one pass at ninety five percent. So, um, yeah, it's dirty kind of dirty stuff and I can see it on my fingers so uh, anyways it was sort of interesting um, oops so yeah it does stick there I, I thought it would cut it a little bit better being uh, rubber like this and I think as you saw I'm interested to watch the um, infrared video I think you know the, the, the infrared camera is a very small screen and so I couldn't see it well so I'm interested to see that um, so I might try some more experiments. Have you, have you tried uh, cutting this magnetic backer material? I, I think it would be interesting. Now, I, I just did it for a rectangular shape. That's all I needed. However, I was thinking about doing for some other things, um, cutting out more complex backgrounds. So have you done anything with cutting magnetic material? Let me know in the comments below if you have. 
uh, and how successful you were. So, because again, I got some more pieces. So I'm going to play around some more with it. But uh, again, just kind of wanted to share this with you guys. So, hey, give it a thumbs up. It's a dirty thumbs up, but it's a thumbs up anyway. And subscribe to the channel. A lot more coming. I'm also going to do a video on doing the, the light thing for um, the laser and the Da Vinci and all that other stuff. So that will be coming in a, a later video. So cheers. Just click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.